problem. Let's rattle through a couple of uh, couple of quick ones here, <laughs> so yeah. to speak. Uh, we've got uh, One Direction's <laughs> Harry Styles, who's 17, spotted uh, enjoying a, a cosy meal with Extra Factor host Caroline Flack, who's 32. So she's uh, 15 years uh, his senior. They shared a couple of desserts at a posh restaurant in London's St Martin's Lane Hotel. Does it matter? Well, you know, I saw that and I thought, my, my God, she's only two years off being twice his age. However, I did see young Harry on the X Factor on uh, on Saturday, on Saturday, and I did think he's a good-looking lad. There you, so are. There maybe, you go. Maybe if you <laughs> can, also, you you've should. Got, you've got Demi right. Moore and Ashton Kutcher, and I know this isn't quite a good example anymore because obviously of their situation. Yeah. But there was 17 years between I, them. And hello, ask and him how old his girlfriend is. How old is your girlfriend, Lemon? 20, 22. Oh, exactly. So how many years is that between you? Um, one or two. Oh, come on. Double. 20, 24 years. 24, 24 years. years. Oh, well, then you can sit there and be quiet. Yeah, well, are, what are do you mean? Both you're mean an ageist. You're an ageist. Yes, what I'm no, you're not saying things. I mean, if you're going to say anything bad about if, if it. Mer Merrily's probably watching now. She loves your show, so be careful. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> are you both happy? But very happy. And, in and, that and, case, does it matter? Well, as, as, as Merrily said, actually, on Alan Titchmarsh, she said, it's uh, in the words of Mark Twain, it's mind over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. It's like that, Carol. Um, finally, very lucky let's, man. let's do this one finally because if you're if you're about to go away on holiday, then uh, you're going to love this story. British airline passengers were forced to stage a giant whip round and hand over twenty thousand pounds in cash after being held to ransom by their airline. More than one hundred and eighty passengers were left stranded on their seven four seven when cabin crew announced during a refueling stop that uh, that the Austrian carrier Comtel Air had run out of money. Uh, this is the moment when the passengers were told they'd have to stump up for the rest of the flight. <laughs> Amazing. We need some money to pay the fuel, to pay the, the airport, and to pay everything we need. So, you, if you want to go to Birmingham, you have to pay. We can't do anything else. That's and they were then apparently they were they were marched to the cash point and when the cash point ran out of money they all had to write IOUs. I, I, I'd have stayed because it was Vienna. So you could I could think of better worse places to be That's stranded right. in Vienna. It's have a coffee and a cake. It's incredible though. I mean, imagine this guy with with a fuel pump sticking into the side of the plane saying we just need a few more pounds. Imagine, imagine a taxi driver pulled up in the garage saying I can't take you home, mate, unless you fill me time. Well, the Laughable. trouble is because I thought you know what would you do? Just get off and you know, if, say up yours and get a, get a cab. Uh, uh, get a cab to a, a, a railway station and get the train cost home. More money. But they've still got your bags. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. And also, yeah. that would cost more. And so you, there's nothing you can do. It would e cost more. Even Ryanair wouldn't do this. Even Ryanair wouldn't do this. The fact of the matter is, when you do this kind of thing, you do it once, no one's going to fly with well, what's called bus I think they might yeah. yeah. very well have gone bust. <laughs> that's yeah, right. so. uh, which might have been the reason in the first place. Quite but possibly, we should yeah. also say that there are other reports saying that the airline has now said everybody will be reimbursed. So we'll see what that is. Thank you, guys. Thank you both. Always a pleasure. We should say good morning to Chantal Fire. Who, uh, who uh, had a pool cue, the end of a pool cue, stuck up her nose for 12 years. 31-year-old endured me. constant headaches, infections and flu-like symptoms for years without knowing why. And, uh, and someone had given her a bear hug 12 years before and the pool cue had, had jabbed her and she didn't realise the tip had come off. And, and it was still up there. 12 years, it's only just realised. Apparently she coughed and potted the black. <laughs> but anyway, it's, very good. it's all out of it's all out now. Your she's just really she I it wonder is. if it was chalked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, second time in two days. Yes. I can't wait. See you later. We'll see you there. Thank you. Time for this wannabe vampire to disappear into the night and get ready for the premiere. Our pets twice in one day. That's worth any human sacrifice. Done. It's done. Mm, they're just both so dreamy. <laughs> well, I'm so lucky. Did I just talk about cracks, naked torsos, and sex throughout that whole yeah. interview? And where's the surprise in that then? <laughs> Those are the one question, the set of questions you left this building with. <laughs> things you wanted to know. I had one agenda. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and to find out what happened when Matt Johnson hit the red carpet.